Rosie and Fizz, Rosie and Fizz, play together, whatever the weather, two best friends and the fun never ends. So come on in and play with Rosie and Fizz. Hello, my name is Lucy and this is Rosie. Hello Rosie, let's put Rosie here and this is Fizz. Hello Fizz and Rosie and Fizz have been very busy today playing with their toys and inside their toy box are lots of clues for today's story. Shall we have a look? There's a party invitation, a party badge, a party badge with an orange balloon and a wooden spoon. It's Rosie and Fizz's birthday and they're having a party and we've been invited. So are you ready? Let's switch to story time and we switch to story time by making a big story clock. Can you make a big story clock with me? After three, one, two, three, a big story clock with seconds, minutes and hours and pretend your body is the big hand and put your little hand like this and join in with me. Tick tock, it's the story clock. It must be time for a story. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Are you ready for a story? Stretch up high, stretch down low. Wriggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Hands up, who's ready for a story? Happy birthday, Rosie, said Fizz. Happy birthday, Fizz, said Rosie. And Rosie and Fizz put on their birthday badges. Here's a badge for you, Fizz. Let's put it here. And Rosie, this is your badge. Let's put it here. There's lots of things to do to get ready for our birthday party, said Rosie. Oops, said Fizz. We've forgotten to send the invitations. We'd best do that now. And the invitations said, Come to our party at three o'clock today. Love Rosie and Fizz. There's an invitation for Dr Dolly. Let's post it in the post box. Well done Rosie. An invitation for Owl. One for Butterfly and one for Bee. In they go. My turn, said Fizz. This invitation is for Mouse, said Fizz. Well done, Fizz. Do you think Captain Pocket will come to the party, Rosie? Asked Fizz. I'm sure he will, said Rosie. In it goes. And the last one is for Hedgehog. All done! What's next? asked Fizz. We need to make the list, said Rosie. And what a long list it was! Blow up the balloons, make the party hats, find the candles, make the jelly and... Hmm, what's missing? Oops, I know, said Fizz. 
We need to make the birthday cake. Open the cupboard. What's inside? A bowl, a spoon, a birthday surprise. We'll make a cake as fast as we can. Sticky and squidgy and covered in jam. With sprinkles and cream, there's lots to share. It's ready to bake. Are you ready? Take care. After three, count with me. One, two, three. A birthday cake for you and me. I'll make the party hat, said Rosie, and you can blow up the balloons, Fizz. But blowing up balloons was hard work. Fizz used all of his huff and all of his puff, but some balloons kept whizzing away. Hello, Rosie. How are you getting on? asked Fizz. Wow, look at all of these party hats. You've done a very good job. Oh, thank you, Fizz, said Rosie. This party hat is for you. It's the one with the yellow bobble. Oh, thank you, said Fizz. Let's look at our list. What's next? Well, said Rosie, you've blown up the balloons and I've made the party hats. We found the candles. Oh, we have to make the jelly. Oh, said Fizz, it's very tiring getting ready for a party. Maybe we could have a little sit down in the garden. Oh, that's a good idea, said Rosie. So Rosie and Fizz sat in the garden, but the sun was so warm and bright that Rosie and Fizz fell asleep. Knock, knock, knock. It was three o'clock. The big hand was on the twelve and the little hand was on the three and everyone had arrived for the party. Knock, knock, knock. But there was no answer because Rosie and Fizz were asleep in the garden. And when the friends went through to the garden, they saw Rosie and Fizz asleep on the grass. And when they looked closely, they saw the balloons, the party hats, the cake and the packet of jelly. Let's help, they whispered. Pop! Oops! Hedgehog popped a balloon. Rosie and Fizz woke up. Surprise! Everyone said. Happy birthday, Rosie and Fizz, the friends called. What a lovely surprise, said Rosie and Fizz. Thank you. Soon it was time for the birthday cake. Let's sing happy birthday. You can join in at home too. Are you ready? After three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Rosie and Fizz, happy birthday to you. One, two, three. <gasps> and that was the story of Rosie and Fizz and the birthday party. It's nearly time for Rosie and Fizz to go, but just before we do, let's stick the cake, the list, the birthday badges and the party invitations inside the Rosie and Fizz storybook so they'll always remember their story adventure. And why don't you join us next time for another Rosie and Fizz story? I wonder what toys we'll find inside their toy box. We'll see you then. Bye! Then, should we stick in one of the badges first? So let's find a page and let's start. Okay, so let's stick in this one.
Hello, my name is Lucy and this is Rosie. Hello Rosie, let's put Rosie here. And this is Fizz. Hello Fizz and Rosie and Fizz have been very busy today playing with their toys and inside their toy box are lots of clues for today's story. Shall we have a look? There's a toy cart, a bench, a wooden bench and a tiny book. I wonder whose book is this? Shall we find out? Let's switch to story time and we switch to story time by making a big story clock. Can you make a big story clock with me? After three, one, two, three, a big story clock with seconds, minutes and hours. And pretend your body is the big hand and put your little hand like this and join in with me. Tick tock, it's the story clock. It must be time for a story. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Are you ready for a story? Stretch up high, stretch down low. Wriggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Hands up, who's ready for a story? Fizz was busy collecting things. So far, Fizz had found some pink ribbon, a shiny coin, a stripy glove, and then Fizz spotted Hedgehog. Hello, Hedgehog, said Fizz. But Fizz let go of the cart. Uh-oh! Look out, Hedgehog, said Fizz. Bump! Crash! Oops, said Fizz. Bother! My wheel has come off. Fizz found his wheel under the long grass. And it wasn't the only thing he found. It's a book. Inside, it said... Please return to Library Mouse. Who's Library Mouse? asked Fizz. Hedgehog didn't know. Let's ask Rosie. I don't know where Library Mouse lives, said Rosie. Is there a clue in the book? Fizz looked closely. Oh yes, yes there is, said Fizz. On the back cover was a tiny piece of green paper. It said, map. Through the hedgerow, three steps, four. Over the bridge, find the red door. There it is, said Rosie. Look, there's Dr Dolly and Owl and Bee. Hi Bee, said Fizz. That must be Library Mouse, whispered Rosie. Hello, can I help you? he asked. Oh yes, said Fizz. I found this book in the long grass. It says it belongs to you. Ah, oh, thank you, said Library Mouse. It belongs to the library. I've been looking for this for a while. Would you like to come inside? Open the door, let's explore. Rows and rows of books galore. Stacked up high, stacked down low. Choose a book, where will you go? Do you have a book about fixing things? asked Fizz. Fizz remembered his broken cart. Oh, yes we do, said Library Mouse. 
Just then, Fizz noticed a stripy glove on the shelf. I found a glove just like that today, said Fizz. You found my missing glove, said Library Mouse. I lost it one day when I was out for a walk. Would you like me to fetch it now, said Fizz. Why don't you bring the glove back to me when you return the book? That's a good idea, said Fizz. And that's what he did. And that was the story of Rosie and Fizz and the library. It's nearly time for Rosie and Fizz to go. But just before we do, let's stick the map, the stripy glove and the book inside the Rosie and Fizz storybook. So they'll always remember their story adventure. And why don't you join us next time for another Rosie and Fizz story? I wonder what toys we'll find inside their toy box. We'll see you then. Bye! So let's find a page and let's stick in the book first. Let's do that. Find a page and here's the book. Hello, my name is Lucy and this is Rosie. Hello Rosie, let's put Rosie here. And this is Fizz. Hello Fizz and Rosie and Fizz have been very busy today playing with their toys and inside their toy box. Lots of clues for today's story. Shall we have a look? There's a tent, a train, chuff, 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 and a torch. A torch with a shiny light. Rosie and Fizz are going camping and we're going to join them. So are you ready? Let's switch to story time. And we switch to story time by making a big story clock. Can you make a big story clock with me? After three, one, two, three, a big story clock with seconds, minutes and hours and pretend your body is the big hand and put your little hand like this and join in with me. Tick tock it's the story clock it must be time for a story. Tick tock it's the story clock are you ready for a story? Stretch up high, stretch down low Wriggle your fingers, wiggle your toes Tick tock, it's the story clock Hands up, who's ready for a story? Rosie and Fizz were busy packing their bags for the camping trip So far they had packed their toothpaste, toothbrush sandwiches in a lunchbox and then Fizz asked Rosie do you think it will be dark in the tent? It will be dark at night said Rosie. Oh that's given me a good idea Fizz. Let's take a torch. A torch shines a bright light. That is a good idea said Fizz and soon Rosie and Fizz were ready to set off. This is a perfect place, said Rosie. The ground is flat and there's lots of room. Look, there's Bee! 
said Fizz. Hi, Bee! Whoops! Bump! Rosie, are you okay? I'm fine! As the sun went down and the moon came up, Rosie and Fizz snuggled down and went to sleep. asked Fizz. It's just Owl, said Rosie, talking to his friends. Go to sleep. <coughs> What's that noise? asked Fizz. It's just Hedgehog, said Rosie, snuffling for worms. Go to sleep. <coughs> Rosie, look at this. It's a train. Hello, I'm Hop. All aboard. Chuff, chuff, wish, wish, clackety clack. Chuffing along the winding track With a whistle and a screech The train cries stop All aboard the midnight hop Library please, said Dr Dolly I have a book to return But as the train chuffed away It screeched to a halt A branch had fallen The train track was blocked Bother, said Hop Leave this to us, said Rosie and Fizz. All aboard! <laughs> to the tent, please, said Rosie and Fizz. Thank you, Hop. And that was the story of Rosie and Fizz go camping. It's nearly time for Rosie and Fizz to go, but just before we do, let's stick the tent and the train inside the Rosie and Fizz storybook so they'll always remember their story adventure. And why don't you join us next time for another Rosie and Fizz story? I wonder what toys we'll find inside their toy box. We'll see you then. Bye! Right then, shall we find a page? Let's find a page like that and let's stick in the train first. So here you go. Just like that. Bye!